It is a beautiful uh, Sunday and we are coming to you straight from GTR City. Many of you are wondering uh, what I mean by the word GTR City. Here we say GTR City means the glory city. Or we can call it Gidogoro. I'm your host for today and I go by the name Konki the Host. And today we have an amazing se uh, segment for you. We want to talk about uh, some of the trending uh, topics that have been taking place for the last one month. One of these topics is uh, about early childhood pregnancies and also involvement of young teenagers uh, in drug abuse. And I'm not alone. I have uh, four people with me. They will be my panelists today and we'll be discussing more and in depth to see where the problem is. We have been having a, a blame game. Parents are blaming uh, children, children blame, blaming parents, uh, teachers and also uh, the government so we want to know who is to be blamed today and i'm joined by four of my very good friends people and children from this region and we'll start by introducing uh, they'll start by introducing themselves and then we will continue my name is Glenn washington mm -hmm. my name is Marcia ranger mm -hmm. i'm conservator i'm a teacher i'm happy to be here today wow i'm marianne chukwaji Wow, so as we can hear, we are having uh, a parent representative and also a church representative and also uh, one uh, teacher who is a very good friend of mine and also we have two Moja, Pale ni Boichal na Pia Tunaya Galchal Watuambie, why does these things happen? Why are they involved in this? And to my first question, I like to ask uh, our parents: uh, Do you parents understand or know? Kama hawa watoto maybe wanakuaga involved na vitu ambazo sio za sio nzuri. Sasingine tunajua sasingine hatujua wanafanya kwa siri kali sana. Mm. So kama wazazi tukiwa ndani ya nyumba hatujui kile wanafanya huko nje. All right. Walimu je mnajua mambo ambayo hawa watoto wanafanya? Hatuwezi jua mm -hmm. kwa sababu wao kujificha mm -hmm. na mambo yao sio rahisi wao kuweka wazi kitu kitu kipi amefanya uh -huh. kwa siku gani amefanya kitu gani Okay and uh, tuki, kuna, kuna habari ambayo tumekuwa tukipokea for the last one month na imebainika kwamba machako peke yake kulikuwa na watoto wa kike F4 ambao ni wajawazito na upande wa western magharibi kule tulipata kwamba there are more than 17,000 school going girls ambao wamekuwa uh, pregnant na pia pale coast uh, the coastal region tumepata kwamba kuna more than 7,000 school going kids ambao wamekuwa pregnant what do you parents have to say about this sisi kama wazazi mara nyingi tumeweka lawama kwa watoto mm -hmm. kwa sababu kama wazazi tume play role yetu mm -hmm. kuwaongelesha mm -hmm. tumewaombea mm -hmm. but sasa tunaweka lawama kwa watoto kwa sababu watoto wenyewe mm -hmm. wamechukua kufanya vitu vibaya mm -hmm. nyuma yetu ya wazazi kama atuelewe uh -huh. so tu, um, lawama yetu tumeweka kwa watoto great unasikia wazazi mazao wanasema nyinyi mnachoma yani nyinyi ni unajua vitu zenyu mnafanya lile chini ya maji Mbaje si usema chini ya maji ukienda wewe sijui nini uko na relationship ama msemu mwingine uko nje katika relationship inakuwa tu ni chini ya maji mnasema aje nyinyi kwa kwa relationship mm. pia ni mbaya mm. na msao zingine pia unajua unaweza kuwa na relationship kuna wenye wanakuwa na relationship uh -huh. ndio wafanye vitu mbaya uh -huh. na kuna wenye wanakuwa na relationship uh -huh. ile tu kujifurahisha na kuji as in wajendeleza so hiyo relationship yenye tunaongelea leo mm. si at relationship ya boys na boys mm. sasa hizi ni relationship ya wewe Glen uko na demo mm. unajua na inaweza kuwa wewe hauna huyo demo but kuna best yako kuna kuzo yako kuna bro yako maze uko nje ma, ana demo ama sisi yako hapo na chali it may happen unajua kitu gani hiyo inaendelea mm. oh so unajua mm. ehe i'm so many as i say my ve si mademso una tunaona mabeshti zetu wanafanya hii na hii ehe na tunaweza follow venye wanafanya so si tunafikiria mm -hmm. tuko the same lakini we are not the same oh so pressure so unafanya kitu kwa sababu beshti yako wanafanya ama jumo na sisi yako wanafanya so unaingia kwa hiyo tu kwa hiyo kwa hiyo league ndio mu film ko the same 
wake so mm-hmm. unaweza pata huyu pengine mzazi wake ame yani amempatia dawa ya family mm-hmm. na wewe unafikiria tu iko tu hivyo but unajipeleka wow we so so hey, hey. <laughs> so parent outside here you've gotten to a point where you are introducing your kids uh, into family planning mimi si kwa najua teacher umesikia wazazi wanalaumu watoto Mm-hmm. Wewe sasa from ile perspective ya ya ya, ya mzazi. And by the way to ask you this question, ni ni walimu me play role gani ama me play any role katika kulea hawa watoto? Have you have you done anything? To me play role kubwa sana mm-hmm. kwa sababu as you know right now shule haziendeki mm-hmm. kwa sababu ya vile vile hali hiko. Right. But the time that tumekuwa kwa shule mm-hmm. hizi cases hazijakuwa vinye ziko size. Sure. Which means that teachers were, have been playing a big role. Mm-hmm. Tukiwa pale shuleni kuna mambo ambayo tunaongelesha hawa watoto. Mm-hmm. Tuna invite watu ambao wanaongelesha. Mm-hmm. Tuna take like a day tuna take time mm-hmm. tunaopea wanaongelesha kama group mm-hmm. wanawafundisha venye inafaa waishi wakiwa nje mm-hmm. out of the school mm-hmm. but right now kwa sababu ilifanyika tu abruptly tukaenda nyumbani hatukupata time ya kuongelesha and that's why it is happening that way but tungekuwa nao shuleni hazindi kuwa Has, ha, do, do you teachers eh uh, huwa na hii topic about sexual education kwa shule iko iko uh, mama dan wewe kama representative wa mzazi una watoto pia nyumbani mm-hmm. je umaika chini na wao kawaelezea kuhusiana na ile Uh, sexual education i think you go under elevski pia iko kwa as in high school wanafunzo in form 3 mm-hmm. kuna nyinyi kwa reproduction mm-hmm. then in primary mm-hmm. iko in class 6 mm-hmm. about the reproductive, the system. reproductive system so have you ever gone an extra mile mumwambie or mumwambie kwamba these are the effects of uh, sex these are the benefits vitu kama hizo tunawafundisha mm-hmm. because hiyo topic kishafikia ni lazima utaelezea mtoto venye inafaa mm-hmm. but now huwa mm-hmm. wanaenda venye wanjielezea mm-hmm. wanakuwa affected by peer pressure okay mm-hmm. mama dan sexual education mna handle laje huko nyumbani wewe kama mzazi unakaa chini na mtoto na mwambia hivi na hivi kuhusiana na you know the sexual life and sexual health mi kama mzazi natukuyo hiyo fursa kukaa na watoto wangu kuwaelezea mm-hmm. but unapata mtoto kama mdogo amekita ameniambia mm-hmm. ni friend yangu wow. so mimi ni kuingia kindani kumuliza ni friend ina gani umemlete paka kwa nyumba mm-hmm. ananiambia ni friend tu tunasoma naye amekuja nimuonyeshe homo so sisi kama wazazi utafikiria tu ni homo kinaendelea but hao vijana kuna vitu vingine huku nyuma wameficha zaidi ya homo hey. wanasema wazazi mna watch eh, soaps na watoto kama mimi si watch soaps na watoto lakini kuna wale wazazi nikitoka nje nikirudi dakika mbili napata mm-hmm. wameweka hizo soaps wakiniona wanazima haraka wow. so hakuna vile nitatoka nitoke nimeficha remote kila kitu mm-hmm. nile tu naendelea kuwaelezea hii vitu mtafikia hiyo umri mungoje wakati wewe eh tauliza hii kwa hawa watoto wetu uh, wazazi wamesema wameplay party yao walimu wamesema wameplay party yao so ni nyinyi mna fail because i mean nafikiria hivi kama wazazi wa play part yao it is now you children to make your decision kwa sababu wameongelesha wame walimu wameongea ni nyinyi kwa sababu wakati mnakuwa involved na vitu kama hizo mzazi huwa kui pale wakati unaenda pale unapiga shashi yako wakati unaenda kwa nyumba boys pale mnaenda kupiga makekezi yenu pale mzazi hayupo inakuwa ni nyinyi why why is it so hard for you to make the best decision out of yourself kwa nini usikataye wambe tu boys hapana Yeye hizi kama nini na kupush mpaka wewe unakubali. So you just sometimes unaweza unaweza sema hivyo mm-hmm. and then tuna kesho yake. Mm-hmm. Yaani ujipate. Ujip, yaani unajipata tu. Unajipata. So ni shetani. <laughs> shetani hapo anatokea wapi? Shetani hakuaje pale. Glen. So wewe unaekelea shetani. Glen, mm-hmm. inakuaje mazee? Wewe kaa boys ama boys huko nje, mazee unapata ametremka pale base imehakishwa boys amechoma nini? Unajua mm-hmm. mara mingi boys wengi huwa wanafuata marafiki. Uh-huh. Pina lingana na rafiki. Na uh-huh. huko na rafiki mwenye 24/7 ako tu in drugs. Uh-huh. Sadi msazi wengine uko na yeye ako in drugs. Pia una unamwambia tu azino kitu na kwambia unataka unatamani kuona. Uh-huh. Na tunatonga ti chain chain. Chain chain. Wanapiga chain. Piga chain. Hey, mama Dan umesikia chain eh? Eh uh, wanaipiga chain kabisa. Wanaipiga chain. Uh, so naweza sema kitu kile kimearibu watoto wetu sana ni pia pressure. Pia pressure. Mm-hmm. 
watoto wanataka wafanane na mwenzao <laughs> Lakini huo mtoto amesahau kila mtu na maisha yake. Mm -hmm. Na decision ile una make juu ya maisha yako we mwenyewe. Sure. So wakati ninamwambia ujue sasa hizi ukikataa kusoma unisomee mimi, mm -hmm. unajisomea we mwenyewe. Kesho ukienda uzae huko nje, utakuwa mama, utakuwa mtoto tena. Mm -hmm. Umearibu maisha yako kabisa. And we can run from the fact ni kitu inajulikana. Watoto huko nje sasa yeah. wameget so much into sexual uh, activities. Unajua? They are having hizo hizo kinds of uh, relationship. Should we introduce family planning for our total? Is it advisable to introduce? Teacher, to introduce? It is not advisable for Sababu. Mm -hmm. If family planning, mm -hmm. it's like um total, mm -hmm. may shake a poor, ni you, mm -hmm. ni ya, mm -hmm. so after that, a haliaka ya uyu. Mm -hmm. so, mm -hmm. so, ukimpe, ukimi introduce for family planning, saizi, mm -hmm. kitambo afiki kuwa mama, mm -hmm. in that. Eh hey, isa amesha fika amemaliza masomo mm -hmm. amesema sasa life yangu na kuingia into marriage mm -hmm. utapata kwamba itakuwa imemwaffect kwa sababu family plan iko na side effects sure. unaweza pata mali pale atafika pale kwa marriage na kitu unafanya marriage ikuwe na furaha mm -hmm. mtoto sure. ikifika mahala pale anatafuta apate ujauzito wa party kwa sababu gani hiyo family planning ametumia for the long time mm -hmm. alafu imeendi imemwaffect so aizi kuwa kupata mtoto tena haraka ndio inahitajika kuna some of the organizations ambazo zinatembea mtaani hata hapa kwetu tumeziona zikitembea and they go to an extent wana provide you know condoms kwa watoto maoni yako labda ni kitu wanafanya kizuri ama maoni yangu ninaona kama wanakosea sana mm -hmm. kwa sababu wakati anapea mtoto wangu condom mm -hmm. ana influence wa mtoto kwenda kufanya kazi ya hiyo kitu ya <laughs> so ninaona wanafanya vibaya sana kuleta condom mpaka kwa milango hata mm -hmm. mpaka mimi mzazi mwenyewe wananigawia inapeana bure ipatia ya nini ya bure so oh. wana hizo organization nyingine zasema wanatukosea sana mm -hmm. kwa sababu wana influence wa kitu hicho kufanya kitu mbaya mupewe family planning ama msipewe tusipewe kwa sababu unajua tukipewa mm -hmm. tutaona tumepewa family planning mm -hmm. atuwezi get born mm -hmm. sasa tutajif sukuma tuko yani mnaje mnaanika kuanika eh eh mnaanika kuanika tu glen sasa buda pale wao mazao kwambie glen mazao unajua umekuwa mtu mpigi eh na nataka uko mtu responsible sitaki magonjo ya kufikia sitaki ukwe buda mm. tembea na kipaket sizi wewe uwezi uwezi kubali hiyo So unaambiaje wale wase uko home mazee wana wana emphasize oh, watu wetu tuwapatie hizi vitu and so and so. Sasa sina buda hapa na kupea atuende utembee naye. Mhm. Mm Yoni kana ku encourage uende azimende tu. We ni license amekupatia wewe so ngaga hivyo. Eh. Yeah. Does the government know hizi vitu zinafanyika and what is the from your from your point of view una feel ni kama government ina inajua hizi vitu na wanakuwa wana pull kidogo nasema ah kila mtu apambane na hali yake. Mimi naweza sema hata government inelegea pande yake. Mhm. Mm Zuka majuzi tulisikia natembea akisema atalaumu machifu. Machifu ndio wanapeana. Kupata mimi. Eh. Ni kama machifu ndio wamepea eh. watoto mimba. Na wapeleke clinic. Na wapeleke clinic. Eh. So sometimes tunaweza laumu tena government. Mm -hmm. Government kwa mfano imetufungia chat chat ndo mali watoto tulikuwa tunawapeleka at least wanapata mafunzo. Mm -hmm. Shuleni walikuwa wanapata mafunzo. Mm -hmm. Sasa hizo vitu zote zimekatika. Mm -hmm. Na unapata mtoto at the age of 14 huyo mtoto anaona adolescent stage sasa amekuwa mkubwa kuchinda wewe mtoto. Sure. Uh -huh. Unapata naambia mtoto wangu fanya umwa ananiambia mama mimi napenda kujiambia sipendi kuambiwa so hiyo mtoto anaona sasa amekuwa yeye mwenyewe ndiye atajiambia vile anafanya uh -huh. si mimi mzazi but at least sasa zingine shule inatusaidia juu watoto wetu wanaogopa wadini kuna kitu fulani serikali inafanya ya kwamba for example kama hii kesi zenye tumekuwa tukisikia there was one story ambayo a 47 year old man ali rape mtoto na mara mingi such cases huwa zinaenda unpunished. Una, Unasikia mtu alienda koti ama alienda kwa chief waka solve kaisha. Mm -hmm. Ticha maoni yako kuhusiana na watu kama na pia serikali. Mtu kama huyo mm -hmm. inafaa serikali imfuatilie sana kwa sababu mm -hmm. ukifuatilia hii maisha hata yeye ni mzazi mm -hmm. ako na mtoto akijiko mm -hmm. kwa hiyo kiatu unaona kama mtu wake amefanywa kitu kama hiyo. Mm -hmm venye haye anaweza kana kufanya ule mtu amefanyia mtu wake hivyo mm -hmm. ndio inafaa fanyiwe sure. so serikali inafaa itafute watu kama hao mm -hmm. wachukuliwe wa hatua kali mm -hmm. 
kama ni kotini waende mm-hmm. kesi ifanyike huyu mtoto apate haki yake kwa sababu hakuzaliwa kufanyiwa kitu kama hiyo sure. alizaliwa apate maisha mazuri mm-hmm. pia yeye akwe mtu mzima but once anafanyiwa kitu kama hiyo ata lose self esteem ataona kwamba mimi sifai mm-hmm. na atajitenga ataanza kusema kwamba mimi nilifanyiwa kitu mm-hmm. so siwezi kaa na wenzangu mama dani ukiangalia ile kamera ya nyumbani pale mm-hmm. try ebu ebu patia wa, wa, wa wazazi wasia wazazi wenzangu ile kitu kitu ninawasi watoto wetu tuwaombe mm-hmm. sana sana tuweke kwa maombi kwa sababu shetani anatafutanga kila mbinu ya kuharibu watoto wetu mm-hmm. na watoto wetu tuwaongeleshe tusiwe na siri yote kuambia watoto wetu iki mnafanya si kizuri mm-hmm. na watoto wetu tujaribu kuwafuatilia ni nini wanafanya mm-hmm. tu kama saizi masomo wanatumia simu kusoma wewe unafikiria mtoto anatumia simu kusoma kumbe huko anafanya mambo zake na simu hakuna chenye anasoma mm-hmm. akimaliza ana anakupea simu anakuwa tumekuwa tukiharibu watoto wetu bila ya mm-hmm. kwa hivyo ninaomba wazazi mm-hmm. tutunge watoto wetu sana ticha maoni yako kwa wanafunzi huko nyumbani saizi wako nyumbani ningependa kuambia wazazi mkiwa na watoto kwa wakati huu tafadhali pea mtoto wako kazi akiwa nyumbani. Saa zile amekuambia ametoka ameenda kutembelea rafiki yake. Fuatilia kabisa ujue rafiki yupi ameenda kutembea naye. Akiwa kule anafanya nini huko? Azin ukitaka kumzuia kutoka kwenda kuona marafiki mpe kazi. Mpangie kazi yake akiamka asubuhi inafaa afanye nini? Muda fulani kutoka pale inafaa achukue kitabu ama kama niyo simu kusoma kwa mtandao. Wewe ukue hapo na yeye hata kama utakosa nafasi mpe mkubwa wake amwangalie. Ajue nini anafuatilia ndipo wasi Engage kwa hizi vitu zinaendelea sana na kupatikana katika makosa ambayo hayafai. So tuwachunge tukiwa nao wazazi mchunga tuone mtu nao nyumbani, mpe kazi, mwambie kitu inafaa afanye. Kwa sababu after corona we are going back to school. Sure. Tunawaongojea kama walimu rutu wasomeshe. Waki get pregnant tutafundisha kina nani? Because they are going to be mothers and fathers. Kwa sababu akishapata mimba ameza atakuwa mama. So akirudi mm. shule, tutakuwa tunafundisha mtoto ama tutakuwa tunafundisha mzazi. Kabisa. Wajilinde pia wao wenyewe, mm-hmm. waji protect from early sex. Mm-hmm. Wakae wakifuata mashati ambao wamepewa na wazazi wao. Mm-hmm. Na wataendelea na masomo vizuri. Tukimalizia, ongelesha girl child pale nyumbani. Mimi mm-hmm. ni za umbia kama msichana mwenzenu. Hiyo mambo ya kufole nyi wasichana wengine wanafanya tuache. Mm-hmm. Na then kitu yenye zaambia wazazi wetu mm-hmm. wasichoke kutuambia ani. Mm-hmm. Waendelee tu kutu advise hivyo mm-hmm. hadi venye tutafika. Ani kiwango yenye tunaenda kuoleka. Oh, sure. Glen ongelesha boy child pale mta. Niko nasema. Mhm. Kama uko na rafiki mwenye ajunga tu kwa drugs mm-hmm. zone le. Mhm. Kimfuata fuata hivyo basi ya yeah, and straight from Konki uh, show uh, we have one parting shot be responsible parents let us play our role teachers let us play our role the government also let us play our role boy child girl child pale nyumbani hakikisha kwamba mazee story ya drug sorry all essential behaviors mazee wa channel also keep yourself busy and when i an empty uh, vessel makes the loudest noise and somebody who is not busy mazee hapo ndio shetani huwa anakuja anapiga kambi until next time i have been your host conquer the host peace